Yeah, this is gonna be a video on audio cassettes. Not any audio cassettes. These. I got them from the thrift store yesterday. It's this is a Memorex 90 minute. Usually these 90 minute Memorexes, the 1990, I call these the 1990 editions. So probably these are from the 90s. So usually these 90s slash 80s cassettes last a lot longer than the ones that are made in the 2000s to now. Because I have tapes from... <clears throat> Yeah, I have tapes from 2020, like uh, from June, I think, or May. But like, it was from January that I bought the Walmart branded Onan cassettes. But after five months, they just don't play anymore. They just chewed up the tape already. So those Onan tapes are a piece of garbage. I'm not going to buy them, but they're... They're very expensive though. They're like four dollars for a cheapo cassette like that. That's not good. So I buy these for twenty-five cents, so I can save some money. This one I also got for twenty-five cents. These are twenty-five cents each, which is the cheapest price that you could buy cassettes in. There's other thrift stores in my area, which is the problem. Store, so they charge fifty cents for cassettes, but. I rarely see cassettes over there at that thrift store than the thrift store I go to is the Salvation Army. Which I'm about like two miles away from there, so. These are 25 cents each. So I got two of them. But this one is a Georgia Tech cassette from 1985. So this is over 36 years old. I might keep it for like a collection because this is kind of old I archived it already to the internet so if I erase this tape I'll be good because <laughs> I already archived it to my computer and I archived it to the internet archive so if I ruin this tape oh well it's gonna be a <laughs> You could redo the tape. <laughs> this one, it's not that collectible. These 90 minutes tapes. But the especially the type twos, these are very like they're collectible though. The UCX 90s. I've gotten the UX ES 60 minute. This is a 60 minute. I thought it was a 90 minute. This is the UCX 60 minute versions. They have a lot of variations of Type 2 Sony tapes. You get the UX series and you get the UX ES series and then you get the UX S series and the UX S I think or the U this is the UCX which I think is the better version of the Type 2's or probably the mid-range of the Type 2 cassettes. So this is a Sony tape. This is over 35 years old and it's still working though. Unlike CDs that gone 15 years without putting in their cases and they keep getting destroyed so good thing I kept this tape so and this these tapes are getting rarer and rarer by the day so that's why I always collect cassettes because these are getting rarer and rarer and probably 20 years from now these cassettes could be worth quite a bit of money though it might be worth tens of dollars or probably even hundreds of dollars for these type twos they don't degradate over time. They do degradate over time, but if you take care of them very well, like if in a cool, dry environment without humidity, heat, moisture, etc., 
they could last a pretty long time. Like this is from the 1990s, I guess. And this one is from the 1980s. And it still works just fine. I, I don't hear no crackling on the tape. No hiss. There's some hiss because probably using the cheap equipment. <clears throat> yeah, these, these are very... Like the UCX 90s, they're expensive though. Even in the 1980s, they're expensive. You think cassettes are expensive nowadays because they're from collectors like me. But even the 1980s cassettes are expensive. The Type 4 metal tapes, I've never come across a Type 4 metal tape at the thrift store. Because they're very rare. <clears throat> Even if I come across one, I'm not going to get erase anything that's on it or destroy it because I'm going to keep that tape. Like, I never come across a Type 4 metal tape. If I found the TDK MA XG tapes, they're going to fetch a lot of money. Even if it's used, it might fetch a lot of money. It might fetch about 20 bucks. The TDK MA. XG tapes because those are super rare like they're like hard to find well these these are somewhat collectible they, they might fetch like a couple of bucks on eBay I see them go as high as like $15 for one tape which is kind of crazy but it's it's used so brand new sealed tapes can be collectible than used like all the tapes I bought from the thrift store are used but I got one brand new sealed but I actually broke the seal which I I destroyed the value by probably 99% <clears throat> so I'm gonna record over this one this one I'm not gonna record over because I'm gonna preserve the <clears throat> recording on it because I preserved it already I put it on my computer so, this is going to the archive, the internet archive, which I already did. So, it's already archived and into the internet archive database. So, I might link it in the description. And this tape is a regular type 1. Which I'm going to record over. It's blank on this side. I like having it blank like these. It has a crack in it. But for 25 cents I will not complain. <clears throat> I like it how it's blank. Like these. Because I don't want. I, I don't like how they write on them. But it, it's their tapes. But. These are my tapes now. Like I could do whatever I want to these tapes. <laughs> like this is a BASF case in a Memorex shell. Which I don't like how people misplace their old BASF tapes or their old original cassettes when they're supposed to do. Like I got like mixture of audio cassettes. So. These will go in my collection.